All right, turning now to the coronavirus. While some people have yet to get their first COVID vaccine, a growing number are concerned about whether they need a booster to be fully protected. Viewers also have a lot of questions about the Delta variant we've reported on so frequently here of late. Dr. Frank Me George here with more answers to more of your questions. Doc? Sarah writes, if you've been vaccinated and get COVID, I've heard it described as breakthrough COVID, but I've also heard it described as a COVID variant, which is it? So if you are fully vaccinated and get COVID, that is correctly called a breakthrough case. A variant is a strain of the coronavirus that has changed in some way from the original virus. A variant can cause a breakthrough case, and that's where the confusion is. Now, here are some more of your questions. Lorraine asks, I received the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, but I am now worried about the Delta variant. I am 73 years old. Can I get a Pfizer vaccination too? There is no official recommendation or clear data yet to guide the decision on a booster from another manufacturer. There are estimates that the J&J &J vaccine is probably about 60% effective against the Delta variant. Depending on your other underlying risk factors and the fact that vaccine is plentiful, it might be a consideration after speaking with your doctor. Sheila has a similar question. My husband, age 75, has diabetes and has been diagnosed with bladder cancer as a result of Agent Orange in Vietnam. He received his one-and-done J&J vaccine on April 2, 2021. We recently heard that he might need to receive another shot of a vaccine to help protect him from the newest variant. If this is true, which vaccine would you recommend he receive? Given his age and risk for immune compromise as a result of cancer treatment, a booster dose of vaccine is a solid consideration. While there hasn't been any official recommendation based on clear data, there's some preliminary information that the Pfizer vaccine would be a good choice in his circumstance. I would discuss it with his doctor. Finally, RJ writes, I'm unable to take any rheumatoid arthritis and arthritic meds due to adverse reactions. Will there be a vaccine for me in the future? So RJ, I don't know the nature of your reaction, but I'm not aware of any sensitivity to arthritis medications that would prevent you from receiving any of the currently available vaccines. You should discuss that with your doctor. Back to you.